Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. So I wanted to go ahead and do the tutorial for you guys for my uh, plastic bottle cap charms that I shared the other day. And just to let you guys know, I know um, I was using my Euro Punch, this one right here, and I'll leave the link on, in the description box. I know you guys are some of some of you guys are interested in getting this. Um, I realized that you can just because they do have little holes already, and to make it bigger, you don't really need the Euro Punch. And I'm really sorry because I have the Euro Punch and I was just already using it. But um, if you're using this particular bottle cap from Ally. Um, you can just make it bigger by just using your tweezer and making the hole bigger because they do have holes already. I thought they weren't punched all the way through, but um, they actually are. You just need to make it just a little bit bigger depending on um, the jump ring that you're using. So, but this is still a good tool to have in your stash because... Um, when you're dealing with metal bottle caps, uh, you do need to create the holes on them. But for this particular uh, bottle cap, it does have the holes already. You just have to make it just a little bit bigger. Okay, so with that said, let me go ahead and share with you guys the new batch that I made. I'll just share that real quickly. And then if you want to stick around, I do have... Um, a tutorial at the end of the video okay so here's the new batch that I made and um, here's one here this is using oops I need to fix that jump ring right there I just realized it's not even but that's okay I'll fix it later um, so I made this one right here and this one is from one of the collections that I was working with uh, I believe it's the flower market from Cartabella. Um, that's the pattern paper that I used for this one. And as you can see here, I added a little Swarovski crystal on there this time around. And I used a different tassel because I ran out of the all heart tassel. So this one I had just made using um, uh, the faux leather ribbon from Hobby Lobby and I just stitched it so there's that one and then here's another one with a puffy and again I used a different tassel because I ran out of the other tassel I just added a gem um, just using glossy accent and then for this one I didn't even use any glue I just um, laid it on there and it sticks pretty well because uh, it's of the glossy accent um, even though it's dry and I like to put my little stickers right on top instead of um, underneath the um, glossy accent but as you can see in this one I did try it so as you can see the gummy bears are super shiny it just depends if you like that look or if you like you know the matted look like this one right here this one doesn't have the glossy accent on top of the sticker so, and look how cute the little gummy bear, my little gummy bear, um, I shared this on one of my hauls. I just added a little rhinestone on the tummy of the gummy bear. Came out really cute. And I believe I got this on Etsy. So, um, if I remember, I'll leave the link. And so here are my other ones. Wait, did I show you this one? I think I showed you. I don't know if I showed you this one already, but um, anyway, I just used a regular tassel. And there, there's this one. And these are the other two. This one I couldn't really put a rhinestone on because um, the bird is pretty big, but we'll see. I might stick a lid or something. So, like I said, um, these are fairly easy to do, so stick around and you can watch my video. Alright guys! 
first step is to punch out your pattern paper. And what you're going to need is a one inch circle punch. Go ahead and punch that out. And I've already done mine here. And then uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is gather our supplies, other supplies. You need your Euro punch and some other tools to open and close your jump rings. Of course, you need the jump rings and glossy accents. If you don't have the glossy accents, uh, you can also use Dimensional Magic. Go ahead and apply the glue on the back of your pattern paper. And I just take my bone folder and I just make sure that that's nice and adhered. So I go ahead and flatten the pattern paper on there. And as you can tell, I did speed up this video a little bit so the video won't be too, too long. But again, just re keep repeating the steps until you get all of your bottle caps decorated with your pattern paper and you can use um, any paper really um, one of them I think I just used the cover for one of my papers I think it was the what is that called she's magic of course you just want to make sure your um, pattern paper of choice you know has small patterns on it so that it fits nicely on the bottle cap once you have that adhered then you can either put whatever um, stickers or sequins bling anything you want on top of your paper um, or you can do what I did is I just I put the glossy accents first and then I applied the little stickers just because I don't know I kind of like that look so here I'm applying the glossy accents and you just go ahead and make sure that it's fully covered and that you don't have any bubbles and when it does dry it does flatten a little bit so just go ahead and put a little extra if you want it to be um, like up to the rim. Go ahead and take a uh, needle or yeah, or a tweezer, anything um, that so you can try to remove the bubbles if there are any bubbles in there. And that's what I usually do. So after you've Put your glossy accents. I'm leaving the other two without glossy accents just so I can show you how to put the jump rings. But go ahead and put it on a tray once you have the glossy accents. And it does take time to dry. So I usually let it dry overnight actually. So, um, and cover it with a clear, you know, just anything to cover it. Um, make sure it's not touching the lid. Um, and you want to do that just so there's no dust or anything that settles on your glossy accent now here the next step is to put your jump rings and I'm taking my euro plier or euro punch sorry and um, I'm gonna go ahead and punch where I want the hole to put my jump rings so I usually punch um, the top and the bottom and when I use the punch I like to punch from the back And I basically punch in between the rhinestones. So I just try to center it as best I could and punch between the rhinestones. And there's already little holes there, but you still want to punch it out to make sure your jump ring fits in there. And I do it from the back because sometimes the rhinestone falls off. But it's not a problem as long as you don't lose your rhinestone because you could always just pop it back in put a little glossy accent on there and then um, I do make the hole a little bit bigger after I punch it um, as you can see I have my tweezers and I just make the hole a little bit bigger by sticking the tweezer in there and just you know 
pushing it through so that um, the hole is a little bit bigger. Then you want to take your jump ring and um, I think I used maybe a six millimeter uh, jump ring. I have several sizes here so um, usually that's my favorite is either a six or a seven millimeter jump ring and the jump rings I use are from Amazon and they're nice and thick for um, you know the gauge is um, bigger so I do like to use nice sturdy jump rings so go ahead and just put your jump ring through here and I'm sorry I'm a little bit out of frame it's kind of hard to do this when you're doing it on camera but um, Hopefully you're getting the gist here. <laughs> um, and then I go ahead and put my lobster clasp as well. So I usually put two jump rings on the top and two jump rings on the bottom to attach the tassel on the bottom. And go ahead and um, attach your clasp. And what's nice about this, uh, the jump ring set that I have here, and I'll try to leave the links um, in the description box. It, um, I think it does come with some of the lobster clasp. It's a whole set. I got this a while ago, like a long time ago. So um, hopefully I can still find the link for you guys. Okay, so here I'm just attaching my tassel. And again, these are the paper tassels from the All Heart, the Crepe Paper All Heart collection. I found, again, the tassels on Amazon. You guys might have seen my haul. And that's about it, you guys. It's really not that hard. It just takes time to do it because, again, you're, you're letting your glossy accent dry overnight. I have some pre-made charms that I strung together here with a knife pin. So I um, just put some jump rings on the top and I will go ahead and attach that to that first jump ring on the bottom of the bottle cap just to add some more decoration on the tassel. Let's go ahead and uh, create the second one here. And I want to say I think this is the one where the little um, rhinestone popped out actually. I can't remember if it was this one or if it was another one I was working on. but. Like I said, if it does pop out, um, oh, there it is, <laughs> it popped out. And I was punching from the back too, but this time it still popped out. Um, but just, you know, make sure you don't lose that little rhinestone because like I said, you can just pop it back on. And here I'm just going to go ahead and repeat what I did uh, with the first bottle cap. And it's really fun to just um, sit and create a bunch of these at once. Um, but like I said, it, it takes me a, about a couple of days to do because I'll go ahead and put my pattern paper and then the glossy accent over and then let it dry um, overnight. And then I'll go ahead and decorate. And the decorating part, of course, is the most fun. But that's it. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. I'll leave the link links to the supplies I used here, um, as well as that Euro punch, because I know a lot of you guys have been asking uh, where I got it and if I can leave the link. And so make sure you check the description box and go ahead and leave me a comment, you guys. And if you try this, um, yeah, let me know, you know, tag me on your video so that I can um, visit your um, channel. And I'd love to see your take on this. They're really fun. 
Um, I haven't done this, like I said, in a really long time. Um, here on the second bottle cap, I decided to go ahead and put the stickers first. I just wanted to see um, if it was going to fully cover with the glossy accents over it. Um, just because I thought it was a little too dimensional and I didn't do it on my first uh, batch. I wanted to try and see how that was going to look. So, And it was fine. Um, but I think I do just prefer to have the stickers right on top. It does stay on there pretty well, and I didn't put any extra glue. I just actually applied the um, dimensional stickers on top. And um, yeah, it works out fine. And then I even added some rhinestones, which I'm not, I don't think I show it here on the video, but... Um, like I said, you can further embellish this and add um, extra sequins or rhinestones on top, just using some, just a, a tiny amount of glossy accents. So these are really fun, and I hope you guys give it a try. And I'm going to go ahead and just speed up the rest of the video here so that you guys are not... Um... <laughs> watching a super long video but thanks so much for stopping by today and have a wonderful wonderful day bye